Well, my name is Jesse Jesse Friesel. Uh, my Christian birth name was Jesse Barrow Clear. And uh, my intention in life is to, uh, well, I, let's start over. I think that everybody has to take in life. You have to take air, food, water, love. And uh, I want to make sure I give back more than what I've taken, better than what it was. And, and I, I really hope that we can all heal the, 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 our hearts. And in healing our hearts, we can help heal this planet. I know it sounds kind of hippy dippity but it's the truth, man. The more healing we all get and the more we all can understand each other, I think is the more that we can actually help adjust this planet and the, and the, the imbalances in it. Uh, people, one person has one giant piece of land and then there's a bunch of people who are stuck in one small spot and, and why not like put more of a balance where people can be freely themselves if, as long as they're positive, as long as they, you know, uh, are, are out for the better, better thing, bettering, bettering at all. And, uh, you know, we, we all have to tap the mat at some point in life and, and to make sure that by the time that happens, that, that that person has had a satisfying life and has left good impressions in people so that the, the energy can keep going forward. It's always going to go forward. There's always going to be forward. And I don't want to look at the negative. I want to look at the positive. And I think the positive is that I, in being a part of the community, get to see people that I love and I can relate to. Because when I wander away from the gate, I wander into a world where I feel lost out there because there's so many people out there struggling and they're all just, they'll take your shit, they'll steal from you because they, they, they themselves need something. And I think with healing ourselves, we can help heal that. And I, I don't know, I don't know where, I mean, we're already started, but you know, just forward with it. You know, I guess that's, got dust in my eye, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Burn bright for all the world to see. Burn bright for you and me. You know, something like that. Somewhere in there. So, and with that, kids, love your parents. They did the best they could with what they had at the time. That's the simple truth. And if you're upset at them, then don't continue that on when you have kids. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Is it cool if this goes on online Absolutely. publicly? Don't mind at all, man. Would you like to be tagged in it? Absolutely. Are y'all okay being in a video that goes public on Facebook? Of that just now? <laughs> What's that? Oh, they're, they're here to put the cuffs on me. I can tell. <laughs> you, you're cool. <laughs> Are you cool with that? Yeah. How do you feel about that, brother? Thank you very much. Dream of Plural Life Xperia. We're here post lightning in a bottle. And uh, <coughs> lightning in a bottle is a festival held in this year at Bradley, California. You can see them de deconstructing it over there. This was the uh, Thunder Stage, and that was one of the two big stages where people were just like, I feel like we have evolved into the next level of music. There was so much space being created, and we were dancing so wild and free in this. It was wild. So, festival. And the question is, I guess, for me, a festival at at its core is is a group of people coming together and celebrating life and if it's you know a, a fun if it's a great experience then it was a very successful festival um, success meaning like not let's I wanted to find success in the affirmative success means can mean success can mean living a fulfilled, connected existence with your needs met without fear. Just being. And a festival offers an opportunity for people to come together in community, I would argue, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would offer, argue. If I'm arguing with you, that's not my intention. Um, how do we come together as rapidly, you know, in a festival you only have like, you know, this was three, four, five days. So how do you come together as a community as efficiently and effectively as possible so that everybody here feels like they're on the inside of this experience together and therefore it's a safe experience we can all be, at. you know, the, the more on the inside everybody feels with each other, the more free we feel. We're creating we're holding space for each other to be as we are and as we evolve. 
and this is why you're getting, you know, start talking about transformational festival, transformative, transformational festival, transformational community. Um, and I feel really in solidarity with what my brother there was talking about because I think there's a strong sentiment. I've been talking to a lot of different people and I personally, either way, also share the, the feeling that making, there's, there's a lot, there's so much that we've learned by this coming out of a scarcity mindset. A festival being a scarcity mindset, you know, it only comes together for three days. And, and transforming it into an abundance mindset where it could be year round. Imagine there was a, you know, year round transformational community or multiple and you could come in and leave whenever you wished. You don't have to live there. There are people who live there always in some sense and kind of hold space, the culture keeps going, the community deepens, and therefore as more and more people come in, they're all holding more and more powerful space for each other. Expansive space, expand, expansible, one could expand in it type of space. and. Expand, expand means uh, you know you, you can change then you can grow then you can you know get smarter you know you can uh, there's all these phrases that refer to how we get better in life or something like that. And so expand is one that means that as you change, all of the ways that you have been are included in the way that you become. It, it looks like a kind of death going into not being that way because it's the whole frame that we live in at that time. But we realize as we move into it, as we move into our fear that in this crucible of painful emotional experience that is the fear story coming out of us you know the experience of what we're holding on to that we believe will be our death but as we as we be with that experience as we really experience the expression of these fear stories that are stored psychosomatically in the body like um, somatic marker hypothesis type stuff you know like what we learn in Vipassana meditation that we are storing sankharas of our dukkha, of our misery in, in the body. And as we <coughs> a lot create space, you know, hold space is, is a way to say it for ourselves to express these stories that we're holding in our body which were the way we thought reality was as we were experiencing some kind of subconscious or unconscious experience, some, some emotional experience that was overwhelming, maybe traumatic. It negatively conditioned us because it overly, it overwhelmed our capacity to experience that emotional spectrum with those magnitudes at that time. Um, and that's the way life is, it seems, and that's okay. And so, but this becomes a negative conditioning that we store in the body and we learn to be afraid of this pattern repeating. You know, I want to avoid this thing that was so painful to me. <laughs> and as we do this, we, we steep ourselves further and further into this like fear world where as long as we behave, you know, in a way that others won't judge or be upset by then we'll be safe and we can like carve out a little niche for ourselves we'll be safe and we'll be comfortable we won't you know we'll be able to live a contented life but over time we lose a connection to our ourselves even in this contentedness um you know the the, the kind of like the spark of life begins to kind of you know, we, we lose touch with our connection to ourself over time. And so by expressing these stories, 
by moving into something like a festival where people are open to whoever you are because you're meeting all these new people and they don't and like they also realize that it, it at different levels that as we as we spend our current time simply telling about the past and the way we are we're not being in this moment and in this moment I'm not that person anymore even though I might believe I am it's just my belief that I am still that same story that is me not being here now and as I am as I can let go of t talking about who I was and instead being free because of the, the person who's you know, energy I'm receiving in this interaction may not care, they may not be judging, they may not be interested, you know, all kinds of things. And in this space, you're free to be whoever you are or wish to be. And so then you can be in this moment. So by the way, Vipassana meditation allows one to observe the emotional experience in the body. So it's a way of getting back connected to your emotional experience and awareness and to practice deconditioning yourself because you're this time as you re-experience that fear and all the negative self story that one has internalized by you know moving into it, what we think is death, but really moving into that fear. As we move into that fear, we have an opportunity again to be with the stories that arise again that we've been storing you know in our hard drive of our body all the stories we ever believed were true about reality and those stories arise as one practices vipassana meditation for instance there's many forms of meditation but vipassana in particular is just the practice of awareness and equanimity so just scan your body, listen to what's going on, observe your internal state. We don't practice this a lot in Western culture currently, although increasingly, um, you know, what's going on at a transformational festival, for instance, whenever you have some powerful emotional experience, you, you feel all this, you know, maybe when you get, when you propose, you know, maybe when you get married, uh, a child is born, a birthday, these are the days that we tend to think of in, in society as like the days we can really be happy or free. And so that's that, that's that connectedness, that aliveness, that magic. You know, it can be magic like that time when we were seven years old and I first spent the night at your house and we stayed up all night and, you know, your mom told us to go to sleep and, and, and we just kept talking and whispering because we didn't know what the rules were. You know, are they going to come in and be upset with us and tell us to go to sleep? You know, so we're just like feeling into this unknown together. It's a sleepover. You know, or, or, I don't know, for me, so much of that magic was sleepaway camp or sleepovers. And that's the crazy thing. It's all this time I was spending, spending, sharing, all this experience I was sharing with So many people and we and just being free and like the point was to have fun <laughs> and the thing about a transformational community is that it's like it's a business model for how to have sustainable fun sustainable in every way not just fun, but fun in the deep sense fun like the, the, the awareness of being alive and its magic through all the pain and suffering and through all the, you know, 
depression, through all the fear, through all the joy and beauty and inspiration and magic that we experience. It is magic. It's magic. Because it's the it's the awareness of like being an evolutionary, a co-evolutionary perception story being entity in the universe, in the galaxy. Mm-hmm. So it may be useful for me to to say that this form of filmmaking could be thought of as it's kind of like trans transformumentary transformational documentary like but it but it's a doc it's like a the because the medium itself the editing the storytelling style everything is is evolving always evolving and some threads will never you never hear the end of it cuz I don't come back to it or something like that like but it does connect into the next one and we just keep ascending up this meta you know like thing <laughs> and it might seem like nonsense to some people and that's okay it might make sense at some levels parts of it in the beginning it might it might kind of make sense overall it might totally make sense whatever level of sense it makes the content itself is transformational as well the whole kind of thing is expanding transforming You want to be in another video, brother? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? This is a transformumentary. Transformumentary. I've never heard that. That sounds beautiful. The transformational documentary. <laughs> That's what's up. How's your day going? Um, it's going really well. It's good to hear. Yeah, but I'm mindful of like taking a breath before I answer that question these days. Right. You know, because if I just go with what I think is happening. I often, it's an it's an, it's a it's a mindfulness I'm practicing to be aware of opportunities to like breathe and get back to being here now, like just with that breath it brings me back here now more like you know like grounds you're saying yeah like oh how am I it actually oh I'm you know rather than you know yeah people just you know you say how are you to everyone they just say good yeah immediately, it's like, an autom it's a script we run yeah you know? automatic reaction. But it doesn't create space for us to like really express it's ourselves and like and, and, and to be and practice our awareness of ourselves, you know. It's totally true. Oh, today is the day. Today is the day. I'm leaving today. So, what would be? Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions for this transforming Yeah, yeah. And uh, what what would be if you like? Now that you're leaving, this lifestyle, this festival, however you think of it, what would be, what would just fucking kick ass if it became reality that expanded from this? Like, what future would you like to walk into with all this stuff, you know, as a community or whatever? As a community, as a whole, um, Really, I'm not leaving this, because as soon as I leave this, I'm heading straight to go do this again. So the reality is, I mean, for me, is that I made it my, my reality. I'm going from festival to festival, consciously building a community with so many different individuals that have so many different things, so many different thoughts, different backgrounds in different places. And one thing I'm really learning from this is that everyone has something. Everyone just has a gift. And the, like the gift to me is your heart and how you can like let it like 
how you can just spread like conscious awareness really something i'm really going to take today after leaving this is that i'm not fully aware of where i am personally as a person but i know where i want to be and where i'm trying to be and actually not really trying where i'm i'm doing that's where i'm going that's how i would answer that that's the best way right that, that actually threw me off guard real quick I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually not that good with uh, the way I word things. So, but I'm better at expressing my, emo not emotions, but I guess, yeah, emotions, my physical demeanor. I'm just not so good at speaking, I guess. Currently. Current, well, I mean. That has been your perspective on yourself. Yeah, I, I know, I, I need to, I think I need to read more. Honestly, I think I need to read a lot more. Sure. <laughs> Where, what do you feel? Where do you feel called to go in, in, in relation to this question? Rather than where do you think? Um, where do, how do I, or where do I feel called? Yeah, because you said as I do, as I go. Like, as we do, we're literally going through space time. Every quantum we practice something is a movement in some direction, you know, or, just, or vector. And so as we practice, as we do, whatever, that's literally how we're spending our time. Yeah. You know, and so, um, I lost my train of thought. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, well, <clears throat> you know, I felt that you articulated yourself very well. Thank you. Thank you very much, actually. This is awesome. Like, really, this is just way too awesome. I don't know how this isn't some people's, like, full reality of life. Like, I don't know how some people don't come here. Well, let's make that future happen. Right? I think that this is that future. This, and and I guess is. part of the reason I you know I came up and asked uh, what were you gonna say? No, uh, go ahead. I just part of the reason I was I was coming up, part of the question I was coming from is like, per, I I want this to be year round. Yeah, no. I think it can be even more sustainable. It can just be. The, it can be the future that everyone can realize themselves as living in. You know, like we like, it's it's so much less costly to live this way. You it know, really imagine if this infrastructure, infrastructure. You know, was was it didn't have to be put up and broken down. You know, it could stay up for months or something like that. You know, and more multiple festivals could come through, but there's like permanent land somewhere that's a multi-festival platform with that infrastructure. Addition, in addition to its own festivals and commune community that lives there that year round, so that anybody amazing. could come in and out of. That would be so amazing. It's, that's gonna take a long time to get there, though. I don't know why exactly, but I can just I can feel it like. The, I, like Burning Man, they're out there all year. So I guess that's the closest one we have, actually, would be Burning Man. Yeah. So. Well, they're not quite out there all year, I don't think, are they? They're out there all year, working on tons of different things. They, they're literally on the playa all year. Yeah. It's people that basically live there. It's so amazing, really. That's wild. I didn't know that. Oh, dude, I, I gotta... Yeah, these are gotta. Brother. No, no, yeah, I gotta close out real quick. Though. Yeah. Thank you, Vince. Thank no you, problem. Problem. Thank you, man. Hope you have a really, really good day too. Thank you. Dude, you you better take care of that. Uh, you added me on Facebook, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. I think so. Um, you can find me at Dreama. Oh yeah, no, you did. I think I added you. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I want to stay connected. I want to stay connected. Period. Period, yeah. In addition, I think that by building out these connections is, is going to help really massively realize that future more rapidly, you know? Staying in touch, coordinating, just spreading ideas, you know, continuing to have that community even when we're apart from each other, you know? Yeah, that's totally true. That's part of the power of, like, asynchronous communication through Facebook or whatever, you know? It's not the full thing, but it's, it kind of... It flosses. It, it flosses. <laughs> So you, are you cool if I publish this on Facebook? Totally cool, man. Thank you. No problem. You want me to tag you in it? Yeah. Great. Always, dude. Cool. Thank you, brother. No problem. Hey, I gotta ask you a question when you're done with all that. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to be now. A little bit
How do you feel? How do you feel? What do you feel? What do you feel on the body? What physical sensations do you observe? I feel... <clears throat> like some constriction in my chest. Something in my sternum. Definitely like my knees. Some kind of dull this subtle vibrations throughout other parts of my body burning happening <laughs> uh, from the sun and I'm only aware now that I'm really checking it I was not as fully aware I, I mean that's like the, the vector I'm kind of on it seems um, to like you know move into in more and more dynamic real time at greater and greater depth, greater and greater fidelity, be aware of my emotional experience throughout the entirety of my body. For and that's like that's a sustainability practice. <laughs> Basically. Basically. That's what it is. And that has for the record been uh, where the idea or the term for reality surfing comes from hashtag reality surf and then now dream surfing but uh, reality surfing is like this way of being aware through a set of integrated healing practices and mindfulness practices over time that healing include you know meaning like art creating art film is a healing practice um, theater you know, anything is a healing practice if it's the expression of authentic energy a truthy signal so uh, yeah Thank you very much for sharing this uh, experience. That's the first time I've really articulated that in that way. So it didn't feel fully connective. But, and. My consideration of the perspective of whoever is watching this, this has everything to do with the covolutionary experience that is creating, creating, directing, covolving really co-directing co-leading co-experiencing co-evolving co-evolving in this moment to moment journey and so thank you for being